Good morning, Gruners. Yes, welcome to my channel. My name is Donato, and welcome to today's daily vlog, which is number 46. And for those of you who've been watching regularly, I think I said number 46 yesterday, but got all my numbers mixed up. Yes, today is Sunday, the 13th of January, and it's Long Run Sunday. Yes, today's my long run. And why am I filming in here? Because the, I'm filming on my DJ Osmo Pocket. And uh, it's so windy out there, and having seen the uh, audio feedback on this, I don't want to risk talking out there with the wind going. <sighs> so I thought I'd talk inside and give you a quick intro to today's run. And for those uh, beginners who are joining on my on your journey for your first marathon with me, on oh, my journey to my whatever ma oomph, marathon, sixth, seventh marathon. <laughs> And yeah, in the long run, often for a lot of beginners, this is seen as the dreaded long run. But I actually look forward to this, and it's the cornerstone of marathon training, endurance training. And I'll be talking on some topics more over the coming days and weeks about how, why the long run is so key. And people often say, what pace do you run at the, your long run? And for me, it's an easy pace. It's an aerobic level, and it's not a particular pace because today when I go out there looking at the way the trees are blowing it looks around 20 30 mile hour gusting winds and if you're supposed to be training at a certain pace how can you hold that pace if you're running into a headwind it just doesn't really make sense so for me I always talk about effort and effort relates to heart rate and how you feel and how you talk so I'm going to be running at an effort where I'm going to be conversational so like yesterday I was talking on the camera I can talk comfortably whilst I'm running. To me, that is the long run pace. And that's what I do. That's what I've done as a beginner. Nothing, no, no fancy stuff, no running at marathon pace or anything like that. See what the marathon pace is. Just nice, easy run. And something I say I'll be talking more that for marathons, the way to run fast marathon is to train slowly. Now, I know that sounds counterintuitive, and this came up in the marathon training workshop the other night. Again, and I see it time and time again, and I will be covering the details of how this works and why it works. And it's all about how we burn our certain energy stores and running at a slow pace, or comparatively slow, is a way of burning certain energy stores so that we can run that marathon in a great pace all the way through without hitting that wall which we often hear about and it is a bit of a myth um, and again I'll go into those details about how to avoid and reduce hitting that wall and so on and so forth so without further ado I want to get out there and start running enough of this uh, chatting there so I'll be chatting as I go along so I'll make uh, apologies up front now it is extremely windy out there I'll be running along a canal route um, in West Yorkshire near um, Huddersfield and Halifax and all those areas. So it's going to be a great route. And uh, I did have a little recce yesterday and it looks fabulous and I'm looking forward to getting out there. So I hope you enjoy this uh, particular vlog. Today on Sunday, the 13th of January, hopefully it won't be too windy to destroy. I might put some music in over to cover up the <laughs> wind, wind, wind. So uh, let's get out there and enjoy the run. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, Please do subscribe for more fun and frolics here on the uh, Running Guru Show. So let's get out there and run. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Yeah. 
Khan. I don't know if you can see on camera, but uh, the wind is blowing so much it's bringing water to my eyes. <laughs> yes, pretty strong wind out here. going all the way down there. Fantastic. Oh, that's So guys, I've now reached my turnaround point. Hopefully you can hear me okay on this. So yeah, it's an out and back today. If you would have seen from my other long runs, obviously for routes that, uh, especially if I'm not familiar with, I'll try and do an out and back so I can follow my trace back a bit like breadcrumbs. Well, I've not left any breadcrumbs, hands on Gretel style, but yeah. So I'm gonna head back now. And it felt really good and it's feeling really good, apart from it being uh, extremely windy out here. Um, which adds to the fun, I think. So uh, let's head back that way, yeah, along this beautiful canal. I don't know if you can hear the water trickling. It's, it's fab absolutely fantastic here. I don't know how it looks on the lens because it's been, oh, and there's a train. Um, 
Because it's been uh, raining, drizzling, so there's probably some speckles on the lens. I don't know how it looks. But uh, let's head back and hope we continue to enjoy this before I get out of the way! In case you haven't worked it out, I'm on uh, Cycleway Route 66, which you may have seen before in my previous vlogs. And for those of you not from the UK, there's various cycle networks all around the UK and have their numbers. Nice long route. And this one is Route 66. Quite serendipitous having had my last marathon at uh, Chicago, which was the uh, obviously the start of the famous Route 66. Whew. This is nice. Real nice, yeah. Ask you about. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't 
recommend them. No, 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 no. But you can't have an exact perfect route, so control the weather. So we just keep moving, yeah? Nearly there, yeah. Oh yes guys, got to the top. Bit of a wind shelter here, so let's get inside and uh, do a quick, quick little summary, yeah? Mm. So yes, long run complete. That was an epic distance. I think um, it was about 14 mile-ish and uh, really enjoyed that one. Obviously the wind made it extremely challenging and getting a little bit lost in that little place where there was a tunnel, but all in all, fantastic run. I feel great, as you can tell. You know, um, the whole point of a long run, when you're finished, you don't want to feel exhausted, tired out, worn out, because that would imply that you're going maybe a bit too quick. So I'll be covering and doing an update more tomorrow, and also talking about New York City Marathon. So, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So wherever you are, whatever you do, enjoy your long runs and enjoy the running, yeah? Bye. Peace out.